I think the chance to build something is a rewarding experience as you can get. You know, it's really hard when you're making the transition. A lot of schools don't have a conference, and to have such a beautiful facility, those are two of the hardest things to have. Uh, those were in place uh, before I arrived. So I always felt, you know, because of that and because of the people that were here and the vision they had, that this program had great potential. UMass Lowell men's basketball coach Pat Duquette is in his third season in charge after recording a program Division I best 12 wins in the 2014-15 campaign. The team raised its win total by two games from the previous season, but Duquette was most pleased by their success out of conference in year two. To be able to win some non-conference games uh, was a big step for our program. If you remember in the first year we lost our first 10 games. Um, we competed in our conference very well. But in year two, to be able to win some non-conference games, in particular to win road games. I want to be a good road team. Uh, we're going to end up playing the majority of our non-conference games on the road. Uh, so it's really important for the long-term success of this program uh, to establish itself as a good road, road team. The Riverhawks reeled off four straight road wins last November, including a win at Fordham, the team's first against an Atlantic 10 opponent. While that was a memorable win for the program, it wasn't the only win that stood out for Duquette. It was really exciting for the guys um, because it was our third in a row. Um, you know, it was a great trip for us uh, to go to the New York area and to come back with three games. But there was other really, I thought, uh, pivotal victories uh, in our season last year. You know, we lost Jihad uh, midway through the year, our leading scorer, and to come right back from that and to win a home game against UMBC by almost 20 points, I thought that that was just as rewarding uh, for our team. I think it's easy over the course of the season when you have really tough losses or go through tough stretches for guys to uh, lose faith uh, or not uh, stay the course. And I think it, in mul multiple points last season, uh, we didn't do that. We responded uh, with each tough loss by coming back and, and having a great win. Duquette has strong ties to the New England area. After playing collegiately at Williams, he coached for 13 years at Boston College and three at Northeastern before making his way north to UMass Lowell. And he said his time coaching in the area helped him recruit locally and helped nationally as well. You know, some of the things that helped me, I think, most at Northeastern and Boston College was uh, not just how strong they are in New England, but the ability to recruit nationally at those schools uh, is something that I learned. And also the approach that we took to evaluating and identifying uh, student athletes. Those two things I carried with me to UMass Lowell and I think that our staff does a really good job at not just recruiting New England but recruiting all across the country. If you look at our roster it's, it's dotted with kids from all over the Midwest, the South, the West. Uh, we've really done a good job uh, looking throughout the whole country uh, and identifying the right fit uh, for here uh, at UMass Lowell. Along with assistant coach Biko Paris, assistant coach Lewis Hinnant played for Duquette at Boston College and Hinnant says he's learned so much from Duquette both on and off the court. Throughout my college career I probably was where I learned the most basketball and just about life and you know how to go about life and a lot of that is attributed to the coaching staff and obviously uh, Coach Duke was a part of that coaching staff and um, just some of those things those are the things that you can take and apply to your life on a, on a daily basis and um, he's definitely been a big part of that part of my maturation process, um, not only as a player, but now as a coach, um, just being able to be around him every day, um, being able to pick his brain and see how he deals with certain situations. It's great for me to see, you know, a different perspective on things and, you know, just to see the positive results that he's been able to get out of the program in such a short time. Um, you know, I can take a lot from that and I have taken a lot from that. The growth of UMass Lowell can be seen by anyone who visits campus. Duquette says that the facilities and new buildings are very appealing to young athletes. When you come here physically, uh, I think it's really easy to see the progress and the growth. Uh, the buildings are everywhere, the new buildings are everywhere. They love to see a brand new uh, Songa Center. I mean, that just blows, blows them away. But we have new residence halls, uh, which the kids love. Um, we show them that. The rec center's uh, beautiful. I think physically it's really easy to come to this campus and to see things that, that are going on and see the growth. The Riverhawks played two games at the Songus Center last year and will up that total to five for the upcoming season. And Coach Duquette says the team's energy and excitement reaches new heights when they play at Songus. Our players love playing in the Songus Center. And even before they arrive, uh, it has a huge impact in recruiting. It's one of the first places that we bring our recruits. 
It's a beautiful building. I think it's one of the nicest buildings, if not the nicest arena in our conference. So we use it to our advantage in recruiting. Our players really enjoy playing there. Uh, we hope to gradually play more and more games there and uh, at some point make that our home. With eight freshmen and ten underclassmen, the Riverhawks will have one of the younger teams in Division I basketball this season. And Coach Duquette believes a big key to their success will be carrying on the style and identity of the past two years. Well, last year we were the smallest team in the country. Uh, this year, I would argue we're going to be one of the youngest teams uh, in the country. So I think that um, that great foundation that we've built uh, the identity that we've established, we've got to now transfer that to our freshmen. Uh, we've got eight freshmen who have not played a single minute of college basketball. Uh, I think that we have more talent in the program now than we've ever had, uh, but we don't have some of the experience we've had, and we've got to get these guys to grow up fast and make sure that they're ready to contribute right away.